In today's video, I'll show you how to set up the Mac Pro FX 10 version 3 inside the OBS Studio broadcasting software for your live streaming. And before we start, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload a new video. One of the great features of this mixer is it allows you to receive a return signal from your computer via USB 3 and 4 output channels as your playback for your desktop sounds, Spotify, YouTube, even your DAW, and many more. The signal is routed into your mixer channels 9 and 10 and mix it along with your analog input channels with your microphone and other instruments, which is great especially for your band performances, which send the signals into your main mix and USB 1 and 2, sending back into your computer inside OBS. Before we start, Make sure your mixer is powered on and plugged in into your USB port of your computer. First, install the driver of your mixer. Head into your browser and go to Mackie.com website and download the driver installer for your mixer. For Mac users, this should work as plug and play and doesn't need any drivers to be installed. Click on Support, Driver Downloads, Mixer, ProFX version 3 and download the zip file which contains the installation instruction and the driver installer. Make sure to read the installation instructions before installing the driver to avoid errors and installation problems. Follow the steps indicated until the installation is complete. If you will be using your microphone, Make sure to mute the channel of your mixer first and rotate the gain knob and level control knobs all the way down to avoid any popping sounds or unwanted feedback before plugging in. If you will be using a condenser microphone that needs a 48 volts phantom power, make sure to engage the 48 volts phantom power switch. Also check your microphone specifications for the required power supply. For dynamic microphones, Phantom power may not be necessary. Now, open OBS and let's configure the audio settings. Click on Settings, then Audio tab, and on the Device, Mic, and Auxiliary Audio, select Line Pro FX. Make the sample rate set to 48 kHz for better sound quality, and down below on the Advanced Section Monitoring Devices, select Pro FX 1 and 2 which allows you to monitor audio signals coming into OBS, click Apply and OK when done. We can also send the audio signal playing from our desktop, Spotify, YouTube, Zoom conference meetings, and other digital platforms to OBS. By setting ProFX, USB channels 3 and 4 as your desktop sound card, it will send the audio signal right into your mixer channels 9 and 10 as return signals and mix with your other analog inputs and send it into your main mix and into your USB 1 and 2. Make sure to engage the USB 3 and 4 switch to receive the return signal and override the 1/8 inch analog input. If you are using Ableton Live and want to take your performance to OBS with a DJ style monitoring capability, Open Ableton Live's Audio Preferences and select the Mackie Asha driver for Windows and Mackie Core Audio for Mac. Then click the Output Config and make sure that the channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4 is selected. Then click OK and exit the preferences. Go to your master channel and select channels 1 and 2 as your queue out and channels 3 and 4 as your master out. This setting will allow you to have a pre-fader DJ style monitoring by sending signals into your ProFX mixer USB 1 and 2 return and going into your control room outputs and headphones and blend it with your analog inputs as well without going out into your main mix. This is also ideal if you want to send a click track or a metronome for your band performances. You can also use this mixer into your Zoom conferences and share your sounds or music 
from your desktop and other digital music platforms just by making some quick configurations into Zoom's audio settings. You can also send the audio signals coming from your Zoom to OBS or going live into Facebook and other live streaming sites. Go to your Zoom settings, Audio, then into your speaker, select ProFX 3 and 4. This will send the audio signals coming from Zoom into USB 3 and 4 returns of your mixer into your channels 9 and 10 and send it into OBS via USB 1 and 2 of your main mix. On the microphone, select Line Pro FX. This will take the audio signal from your USB 1 and 2 with your main mix as your microphone device. Make sure to uncheck automatic volume adjustment control to manually control and maintain a constant signal level. To ensure the quality of sound inside Zoom, go to Advanced, check the Show in Meeting option to enable original sound from the microphone. This will allow the audio signals to pass through without processing that may affect your audio quality coming from your mixer. Disable both of the noise background suppression and leave the echo cancellation to auto. Before joining or starting a new meeting, it is better to test your speaker and microphone device first. When done, you can now join or start a new meeting. When starting or joining a new meeting for the first time, it will prompt you if you want to test your audio devices before joining or join with computer audio and start a meeting immediately. You can also check automatically join with computer audio if you want Zoom to remember your choice and skip the process every time you start or join a meeting. In this case, I'll just click the join with computer audio button. The last step will be turning on the original sound button at the upper left of your meeting screen. This will enable the original sound coming from your mixer into Zoom without any audio processing or filtering that may affect your audio quality. And now, you can share your music or audio inside Zoom with quality. Now you are ready for your next live stream and having more flexibility using the Mackie Pro FX10 version 3 in OBS. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thumbs down if you don't. Please let me know what you think on this video by leaving your comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.